Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today, let's look at the difference between rice and corn. Na ay mga nag-ask if ang corn pa daw is really good for diabetics or for weight loss. Huh? Let's check it out! Since there are a lot of rice and corn products, this video will focus on corn bricks, white rice, brown, red, and black rice. Let's start with the macronutrient contents. When we say macronutrients, these are the carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Both corn and rice contain the two macronutrients, carbohydrates and proteins. Meaning, bisan on sa pagkataghan ni mika on na corn or rice, same rapag macronutrients na makuha. Nice. For calories, one half cup of rice gives 100 calories, while one half cup of corn grits gives 50 calories. Let's move on to the micronutrient contents. When we say micronutrients. It refers to the vitamins and minerals, and these are needed by the body in small amounts. That's why in our measurements, we can around milligrams and micrograms. For calcium, black rice has the highest calcium content, while corn and white rice both rank the lowest. For phosphorus, black rice has the highest phosphorus content, while corn ranks the lowest. Ang function of phosphorus is in the formation of our bones and teeth. It also has a very important role in building and repairing cells and tissues. Plus, kung mag-exercise ka, makareduce it niya sa muscle pain. For iron content, black rice still ranks the first and corn ranks the lowest. For vitamin A content, only the yellow corn grits contain the nutrient, nothing in rice and white corn grits. For vitamin B1, black rice contains more of this vitamin and corn ranks the lowest. Among the rice varieties, lowest side on white rice. Vitamin B1 or thiamine helps in the conversion of carbohydrates to glucose and produce energy para magamit nato while we do our daily activities. For vitamin B2, red rice has the highest content and brown and black rice both rank the lowest. Same with vitamin B1, vitamin B2 also helps in the production of energy. For vitamin B3, highest on brown rice, lowest on corn. So rice varieties, lowest on white rice. Vitamin B3 works hand in hand with vitamins B1 and B2 in converting macronutrients to glucose to produce energy. So rice varieties, Always kalalat ang white rice. Kaya nga naman, if you check, di ba ang white rice, mas sinaw, mas puti, meaning mas polished siya, except sa NFA. So, kung polished ang rice, meaning ibalik-balik na siya o galing, it's milled a couple of times until mas sinaw siya. So, in the process, more nutrients are actually stripped off. So, mas tagan ang nutrients ka nawala. So that's why others, ila nang i-add o balik ang nutrients, pero dili na na siya mabalik tanan. That's why I prefer red or brown rice. Haven't tried black rice yet, but then mauni siya ang rice. So it's actually red rice, but then na ko nakita ang pag-grocery na ko, na ko nakita na uh, malunggay turmeric white rice. So ako lang siyang i-add and said, Gamay. So, this is a combination of red rice or kato malunggay turmeric white rice. Another thing that we need to look into, which is very helpful sa mga diabetics or for those who want to lose weight, is ang fiber content. Nana importante man ang fiber? Because fiber is the indigestible part of the food, meaning dili siya maabsorb sa body, therefore, dili siya maka add sa calorie. Another is that. Fiber slows down the digestion of food, so if you are diabetic, then fiber can help para dilik mo spike imong blood sugar level. 
fiber can also gives us the feeling of fullness, so meaning dalit to kabusog, dilit ta dalit gutumun. So tendency is that we don't um, eat as often as we do. And because of that, then if you are trying to lose weight, then maka help you try if you will include high fiber foods in one diet. Fiber will also help keep our digestive system healthy since in digestible siya, so it will serve as a broom sa atong body para regular atong bowel movement and prevents constipation. There are also studies showing that fiber reduces cholesterol levels, kay mo buy ng fiber sa cholesterol, mostly sa bad cholesterol, and are excreted in the body. But aside pa na, ang fiber will also serve as food for our good bacteria, kay di ba? Naman tayo good bacteria sa itong body, mostly located sa itong large intestine. These good bacteria will also help keep our digestive system healthy and even boost our immune system. And for them to survive, we have to feed them by adding high fiber foods sa itong diet. But most of the problems sa itong diet ay less on fiber, so on sa'y mahitabo, most of the foods eaten are absorbed in the bloodstream before it gets to the large intestine. Remember that. Put it in your mind. So I would suggest that we eat high fiber foods para mahapi sa datong good bacteria. There are two types of fiber, soluble and non-soluble. Ang soluble fiber madissolve siya sa water so makahelp ni siya in preventing constipation. Imagine mo ang sponge, di ba? If we soak it in water, absorb ang tubig sa sponge and then the sponge becomes heavy. Fiber functions the same way sa atong body. Once it absorbs water, it softens the stool and it will be easier for it to pass through the gut. Also, as soon as it absorbs water, you will have that feeling of fullness and help you consume less amount of food. Some of the soluble fibers are the ones fermented by the good bacteria in the intestine. Here are the sources of soluble fiber. Insoluble fiber, on the other hand, is dili siya madissolve sa tubig, so meaning it won't change inside the body. Unlike sa katong soluble fiber, di ba, more of siya mo form of gel, of gel since mo absorb siya ang tubig. So, ang kanyang insoluble fiber, dili nagyan siya change. However, it will also increase the bulk sa tong stool, so it can help with the uh, bowel movement. Aside from that, ang insoluble fiber also has a satiety value, meaning Dali siya makabuso since dili man siya madigest inside the body. It is important that we consume both soluble and non-soluble fibers kay di pa. Ang soluble fiber will be broken down by the good bacteria sa atong body. Now, once it's broken down, tendency is that to tumunta. But the insoluble fiber will then help in maintaining that feeling of fullness. Here are the sources of insoluble fiber. Fiber helps in controlling blood sugar and in losing weight. Which among the corn and rice varieties have high fiber content?
additional information, black rice, red rice, and brown rice have antioxidants. Black rice having the highest content, followed by red rice and then brown rice. Canning free radicals cause damage to subtle cells in the body, which then results to illnesses, including cancer. Now that you know the difference between corn and the different rice varieties, I hope you will practice eating the ones with more nutrients and high fiber content. Alright, so I hope you learned something today. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing as well. For those who haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And please watch out also for my next videos. This is Vegan Mehta saying, stay healthy.